Guys, I have the pleasure of being joined by the man, the myth, the legend himself, Ben Brode. Thanks for coming on and, and taking some time to get a little interview action. Thanks for having me. I am super excited to chat about Marvel Snap and I don't know, whatever spicy questions you might have for me today. <laughs> Looking forward to it. Uh, you know, actually, I don't think you know this, but I actually, we were in the same place at the same time. But I don't think, I, I, I didn't have the, I, I don't go up to people often, you know, like, I, I, yeah, I leave them be. And I went to D23. I used to do a lot of stuff with Disney. Oh, yeah. So I was at the games panel of D23, and uh, I you were the seat ahead of me. Well, you were kind of, you were you, you were on the move a lot. You were, Man, I saw you were on the move a lot, but you were the seat ahead of me. And I remember sitting here, Ben, and, uh, y you know, it's funny. I, uh, my, my baby was expected in October, and I told my wife, I said, as long as Marvel Snap doesn't come out in October, I'll be good to go to make content on this game. If it does, I can't make content. And, <laughs> and, and, and there was rumors and whispers that the reveal date might come out. And lo and behold, that was the, uh, that was the official reveal date of Snap. Man, it feels like a long time ago now. I know. It feels like an eternity ago. It was, uh, yeah, D that was my first time at D23 too. It's crazy, man. I've been to Comic-Con that I don't even know if it holds up to like D23. There's some passionate cool people there huh <laughs> well i thought we would start the uh some of the the you know keep it casual but i thought we would start with some marvel snap questions and uh just kind of you know i listen i know um when you're trying to you're just trying to make a fun card game i, I i've seen kind of your gdc talk and things like that and i'm sure you didn't have expectations but man you know we're at game of the year now uh, apple's innovative award which was uh while that was just what yesterday uh, yep, dude, did yep. you expect this? Was this like, is this just, uh, where are you sitting at in all of this? You know, it's like terrifying to start yep. a new company and to make a new game. And like, uh, uh, you know, I, my all of my previous experience was Blizzard and people pay attention to Blizzard, right? They, they, they you know, they're going to play whatever new stuff comes out from a company with that much history and, uh, you know, that kind of track record. Yep. You know, starting out on my own, you know, with just a few other folks, like that we don't have we don't have any of that stuff, right? And so we were really lucky to get departed with Marvel. Yeah. Because that is like a really uh huge, enormous help with getting people to you know pay attention to what you're doing. And it's just like super fun to work with Marvel and you know, work in that world. The the team at Marvel Games is like just unbelievably good. They're just incredible. Um and that I think that just gave us like a, a really uh helpful boost yeah. um with, with uh, just getting people to pay attention to what we're doing power of ip for sure yeah and i uh you know so I, I think we have pretty high hopes for the game you know it's uh we you kind of feel it when you're playing it early on you're like hey this game this game's pretty fun actually like <laughs> this is uh you know i find myself playing you know off the clock you know it's uh it's doing it for me so uh, you know yeah i i think uh what I didn't expect was the critical response, right? Seeing you know, just people from like every uh, publication just say how much they really love the game and winning all these awards. Uh, that was uh, above and beyond my expectations. It's been pretty incredible. So, uh, you know, I want you to walk me through because I've seen like the <laughs> prototypes and I'll throw them on screen for people, but I've seen the prototypes in like the early days and, and, and like the Mysterio business cards. But I want to know like when you had the working prototype of Snap, like, what did yep. that look like? How many day games did you play a, ge a day? You know, how did you play different kind of decks? How many cards? Did, like, how, what did that look like? Uh, uh, you're talking about the physical prototype or the digital prototype? Even if it was, uh, yeah, you know, probably the business card, physical, like, early adapting. I have it here. Dude, you wanna, yeah, I can take you on a little tour here. I would love, the, uh, yeah, I would love to see uh, this. Over to my desk. I'm in the office. We're a fully remote studio, but, uh, uh, you know, we got... Uh, we got a couple people coming to the office. Yeah, let's so. see. Let's see the uh, tour. Okay, I mean, it's like uh, my desk is like a, a disaster zone right now. <laughs> but uh, yeah. uh, here's here's my desk. I think you got the you got uh, the key light and everything. That is a disaster <laughs> zone, man. That is that's a uh, that's a. Okay, all right. Let me get let me get the old prototype out here. It's yeah. uh, it's this box. Let's see here. And I realize I'm like making your camera. Okay, here we go. No, I'm gonna pull great. it into the. Uh, to pull it into this room here. It's like, uh, what's that early '90s movie, the horror movie? The um, it feels. Oh, Blair Witch. Like, yeah, it's Blair Witch uh, Project. Blair... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, all right. So here's uh, 
uh, like I have this box and this is like all, uh, all like printed cards. So the way we would do it uh, is, let's see, we'll pull out an old deck here. Okay, so here, so we had two, we had multiple prototypes. So this was the, this was like the, um, once we did the, the back of the business cards version, we, we needed to like have a, a more sustainable process for making cards and not just me writing them all out. Okay, yeah, uh, yeah. So we like printed them. So these are like a bunch of old locations that we printed here. Okay, on, yeah, yeah. Uh, and then uh, we have, let's see. And do you have multiple uh, of these or is it like one of one? Like there's one, you know, nowhere or there's one Gamora kind of thing or? Uh, yeah, so actually we I had to print, uh, this is just like a full set here of um, like every card we had. Okay. Yep. Uh, and so I had to make multiple full sets so that I could give one to me and one to Hamilton. Uh, and, and then we would, uh, uh, you know, like go through and build multiple decks basically with our full Because when the, we had just a single set, you know, if I wanted to play a Galactus deck, Hamilton couldn't play a Galactus deck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, uh, we had some like we had some weird stuff. Here's a uh, quasar. Uh, it both players. It's hard to read. Both players have infinite mana. That card's broken. We didn't make that card. Yeah, that seems a little uh, bit uh, out of touch from today's. Uh, yeah. uh, here's uh, here's here's old Red Skull. Here he's got uh, enemy cards. Oh yeah, it's not too. That's not too. Uh, yeah, far from what we got now. The, the balance is different, but yeah, he's, uh, he's after the different. nine balance changes. Yeah, we're there with uh, with Red Skull. Uh, it's Loki in the original version, but Look eventually became Kang. Your opponent then they replayed the last turn without. Lo oh, so yeah, like Kang. Okay, all right. King Tucker, yeah. When, when we saw the uh, uh, Loki TV show, uh, and uh, Kang was in it, and he ran the, you know, oh, incredible uh, performance. The time, the time authority. We were like, oh, it's a really good thing. Squirrel Girl is exactly the same, 100 percent exactly the same from the first prototype. Okay, yep, yep. How did uh, you even find Squirrel Girl in the comics? Which I love that you used her in the. Uh, Nick Fury commercial. Oh, Groot's the same too. Uh, yeah, actually, an enormous number of cards are exactly the same. Uh, here's Gamora and Drax. They're also uh, the uh, basically the same design. So the Guardians, yeah, stayed very, very similar. Did, what what card is like changed the most since release in, from Inception? Oh, a bunch of cards are totally different. Uh, we actually here's a good example. Here's Black Widow. It says play this card face down. And we had a bunch of cards that uh, you'd play and your opponent would know, kind of like Invisible Woman. Yeah, like Dark Dimension Invisible kind Woman. of thing, okay. Uh, yeah, right, so like you'd play the card face down, your opponent would be like, what is that? It could be any number of these things, but we had a, a suite of cards that you could play face down and then you know, at the end of the game, they flip face up and you're like, ah, oh, it was Black Widow, ah, oh, I should have known. Yeah. And uh, it was interesting, but it just like, uh, there was like a bunch of, you have to like memorize all the cards in the game in order to like interact with the mechanic. And yeah, your yeah. opponent was like, what the hell is going on? Like, why didn't that card flip over? It's, <laughs> it's weird. Then we made like, here's Vision, who originally gave you the Vision to see face down cards. <laughs> so I was like, uh, anyway, so this is the, this is like the rev two of the prototype. There's all these like uh, oh, uh, cards that, that we uh, made so that we could have, have make unique decks and stuff. There's an arrow in there. Just uh, if you happen to bring that to Comic Con, that would uh, I would frame <laughs> it in the wall here. Arrow's my arrow's my one true. I I was you know I was big on Arrow even in the beta days, and I kept telling people I was like, just you wait. Like she's so good. I don't so, know if Arrow's in here. Let me see. I, uh, I'll, I'll check. If Quasar's I in there, think, I mean, come on. We never made a Nihilus. He didn't make it in. Yeah, yeah. The. Uh, there's so I mean it's so fun. There's so many Marvel characters to pull for him. I mean it's crazy. There's so many. There's a bunch we haven't done yet. Uh, Jean Grey is not in there yet. Yep. Um, I just realized I looked at all the cards. There's no Arrow, and I believe it's because Arrow didn't exist when we designed these cards. Actually. Oh no. Uh, way. She she was a newer character, and so um, yeah, we just never like she just didn't make a card that didn't exist yet. I, I gotta ask you this because you know a little bit of me kind of misses the beta days oh i like i loved when like there was no consequences to like just testing stuff out like we we would test yeah. the craziest from like the plus two nova to you know uh oh, yep yep oof, that was i still have like 90 splits of chavez when she was a 610. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so, so i gotta ask in your opinion what was like the most just like you guys realized like all right out of it could be from beta to now that you're like this this has got to change like this, this card's too much uh, I'll say it's before it's before beta, uh, okay. like but not but not by long. Okay. So one of the worst 
there was a couple things that were really messed up. But the one, the, the most frustrating one was uh, the previous Taskmaster design. Okay. Uh, was really flavorful. It was, uh, uh, you know, Taskmaster in in the lore can instantly duplicate anything that they see, right? Yep. So like, mm -hmm. they're like, oh, I see that. I could do the exact same thing, like any physical movement. So in the card, it was like a four four, and it said when your opponent plays a card with an on reveal effect here. You get the honor feel effect too. I see it. I could do it. Right. That's it's like really flavorful. It's pretty cool. Uh, what what happened was immediately Kevin, one of our uh, back end server engineers, built a deck where he played uh, um, Taskmaster. Yep. And then he played Viper okay. and gave Taskmaster to their opponent. And then he played Destroyer. And Taskmaster would rise up and go Whoa! and just wipe the board. It was just like. It's like nothing you can do about it. Oh my gosh. And, uh, I've seen that happen. <laughs> I've seen like you can still pull off a destroyer replay with Odin on a on a Sindover kind of thing, but it's like so impossible. I mean, it's like astronomical <laughs> yeah, right. odds. It was, it was, I mean, he loved it. And it wasn't even that consistent, but it was so much BS. There's like not much you could do about it. We were just like, nah, this has got to go. <laughs> uh, there was also uh, previous Thor. Okay. Uh, we we experimented with a bunch of Mjolnir designs, and one of the old Mjolnir designs was uh, a six cost card that said on reveal destroy one enemy card at each location. The idea was Thor oh. hurls the hammer and it goes Whoa, boom 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 and comes right back to Thor, uh, and uh, we're like oh that's kind of flavorful that's kind of cool, uh, but people would play it with Wong. Oh my uh, God. <laughs> and it would just destroy every card they had played the whole game. And we were like, this is terrible. You yeah. gotta do something about this. <laughs> <laughs> I remember being sad. You guys used to have the Avengers perfectly cost out. Like it would be one was Hawkeye, <laughs> two was Black Widow. I was like, this is so cool. And then Thor was, uh, who's three? Captain America. And then Thor was yep, four. Yep. And then, yep. he, then you know, but like, let's say it now. Like, obviously, the Thor now is so much better to have, you know, the consistency there. Yeah, right. But I missed that. That was a hundred percent on accident. There was oh, no absolutely way. no forethought there. It just, I, it was probably because I was just trying to, because those are all some of the earliest cards we designed. Yep. Like, they, in fact, they're very similar to where we ended up shipping them. I don't think Captain America changed at all any of the numbers, any of the card decks. Like when I wrote them, like the first day. He's just a hundred percent the same. No way, that's cool. Uh, and then, uh, uh, yeah, I just I was just needed some cards of each cost, so I was just like, all right, who are the characters I know the most? The Avengers are, you know, top dogs right now. So I just went down the list. I was like, I don't know, Hawkeye, <laughs> Thor. You know, I just wrote it. I wrote them down in order, and then they kind of, you know, that's how they ended up. <laughs> There's something <laughs> beautiful about Hawkeye being uh, the the worst of the bunch because he he's so like. <laughs> Dude, even in if you go to the Avengers movie like playtime, he's got like nine minutes of screen time. Uh, that's that is for sure intentional, right? Like uh, he's not he's not gonna be a five cost card. It just yeah. doesn't doesn't feel right. <laughs> does, does, does it, I gotta say, absolutely love the new Hulk because like now I feel like I'm playing the Hulk, man. Like when you drop the twenty bomb, it's like poof. Yeah, it's insane. Yeah, like it feels yep. good. You're smashing. I, I, that card, High Evolutionary. Uh, it, so we put Patriot in because I knew it was just going to be like, like we needed some, uh, what we call in the industry vanilla cards, yeah, vanilla, which yep. are cards that don't, don't do anything. They have no abilities. We needed some because we want, you know, we want to have a smooth on ramp for people learning. It's amazing. Uh, people don't realize just like how lost a lot of people are when they try new games and Druid Marvel Snap, like they, we do a lot of testing, right? We like sit, brand new players who have never heard of this game yep. in front of the game. We're like, here you go. And we watch them record them and we, record, we ask them questions. Okay, okay. And like so many people play through the first tutorial mission, which says win two out of three locations to win the game. And then that text just goes whoop and it stays at the top of the screen and pulses the entire game, win two out of three locations to win. And they'll play the first mission, the mission ends and they'll say, it's fun, but I don't know how I won. And I was like, I don't know what else to do, man. <laughs> like, I, I, I did, everybody got good there to help uh, try and get that message across. Anyway, so uh, like, it's really important to, there's an enormous variety of players who are coming to Marvel Snap, right? A lot of people who've never played card games before. Some people have never played video games before. And it's it's a lot. Uh, 
So uh, we want like a real smooth on-ramp of like complexity. So we have some real simple cards and we need a bunch of cards that have no text and, th and that it feels great to replace. When you go from Shocker to Sentinel, that should feel like, oh, I get it. Yeah. Getting new cards rules, actually. Let's yeah. go. You oh, know? Absolutely. Yeah, no, the, the, if, 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 the, if you guys watching haven't seen the complexity versus death talk that you had where it's like, I think that's one of the bigger draws to Snap is I would venture to say there's a the large majority didn't come from card games. I mean, you have a lot of people that did. And the thing that made it so accepting is because of how how easy it was to kind of yeah. just grasp. Yeah, you guys nailed that. Yeah, it's super important to have that, that, that early on ramp. So we put a bunch of vanilla cards in, but we also needed to have recognizable characters, right? Yeah. Like if you're like, hey, let me check out this new Marvel game. And we're like, all right, cool. It's uh, 12 characters you've never seen before. You're like, what? I, this, like I want Captain America and Cyclops yep. and Hulk and you know Hawkeye. So we uh, uh, we had to like you know put some put some iconic heroes on the altar of learning and uh, Cy Cyclops and Shocker were you know uh, the thing. One of my favorite characters in Marvel. We're all like you know all in this category. And so I put Patriot in as a like uh, look. It may be someday they'll come back, you know, like yeah. eventually you're, you're leaving behind and then Patriot will show up in your road to be like, wait a second. Yep, yep. These aren't as easy as I thought they were. And uh, uh, but it didn't get all the way there. Okay. Uh, and so, like, I've been looking and I know the whole team has been looking for ways to, like, you know, uh, do right by Cyclops lovers. <laughs> Dude, who hates who hates Cyclops? Let's just get. Uh, there's got to be somebody that hates him who over there. doesn't hate Cyclops? Uh, come on, the, let's move. The, He's, he's my favorite move card bit. If you go to if you go to move bin and you go here, he's my favorite. He's my favorite. <laughs> I still can't get over wherever he is on here where it says, let's no. move X Men. <laughs> yeah, let's move X Men. So there there was uh, a pitch made during the development of High Evolutionary where somebody said, Hey, let's let's come up with new designs for everyone except for Cyclops, and we'll just change his his flavor text to stay put X-Men. That'll be the change that we make to Cyclops. Everything else will have some cool new power, except for Cyclops. Keep him garbage, just like the meme of yeah. it. Yeah, that, you should have, you should, even for like day one, just just have him out there yeah, like, uh, we realized Cyclops was too powerful, so we're gonna keep him where he's at at the moment. Let me tell you, oh man. That's cool about the, uh, the kind of the intro, and, and I love the, the whole story concept of either you get a really good story, or no story. And I'm so glad you guys didn't do the text box with like the, oh, you're the gosh, hero yeah. of the infinity stones and God, that was smart big time, huh? <laughs> well, I just, it's just something that I like, I don't know. I, I have my, uh, my things that I strongly believe. Right. And I, you know, it's just, there's a lot of ways to make video games, right? Mm -hmm. Like I'm certainly not right. It's just that I prefer stuff this, this way. Right. Yeah. I, I prefer, you know, not to read a paragraph of text before a Street Fighter game begins. I just want to, I just want to mash some buttons and see what happens, right? So it's, it's fine if there's, like, you know, vibes and like, uh, it's great. I, I love. I got a letter from a kid um, who lives in Wales the other day, okay. and he's like, he's, he's like learning how to. Uh, he's five years old. He's no designing way. Marvel Snap cards now, and it's, you know, and it's so giving awesome. them to his parents. And they sent over his designs, and uh, uh, they said, look, he, he loves the Infinite. And, uh, uh, you know, there's there's no story for the Infinite in in Marvel Snap, but Marvel has enormous source material, right? There's stories, there's movies, there's cartoons, right? There's plenty to like, you know, so we exist in a world that has already done all of the storytelling for us oh, and much yeah. better than we would do in a video game. We're just like a portal through which people get to like deepen their relationship with Marvel, right? Like I, I bet a bunch of people have went and picked up uh, The Ultimates, which is the series that The Infinite um, uh, originated from because they, they're like, I gotta know more about this character. What What is this? What's going on here? You know, and that's, that's awesome. Outside of what you guys are doing for the licensing for Marvel, like that's great. No, I don't know if they truly understand the numbers behind how many Marvel fans have come out. Uh, the, the amount of people I talk to, even creators, man, they like, I, I didn't know a damn, Thing about Marvel, and, and now they're like they're in the, mainly the comics is what it sucked people into yep. these White Queens, the Emma Fra, these people that they haven't you know heard of outside the MCU. And when you decided to pick Marvel to be the IP here, did you entrench yourself even more? Did you get the comics? Did you kind of go that route, or did you? It was it a natural 
thing? Did you already come from that? Uh, yeah, a little bit of both. So I, 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 I have a you know a big comics background. I, there was a comic book store, um, like uh, within walking distance of my of my house. Not like really really close, but my family every like uh, or once a month would walk over to the comic book store. We'd all get to pick out one comic book. And uh, there was a little shopping store. We get a candy, and then we stop by at the park on the way home and read the comic books. Yeah. Um, and so I got, you know, I read a ton of comics as a kid. I uh, just like a huge variety of stuff. So I've definitely, uh, and I, you know, the X Men cartoons and stuff. I was like really into uh, X Men as a kid. So, so I had like a lot of uh, like Marvel juice. Oh, uh, I, I have to show you. I have to show you another thing here. In my <laughs> yeah, desk. please so, do. Uh, uh, I, one of the things that I was really into as a kid was collecting Marvel trading cards. And I and I played uh, a bunch of collectible card games, including Marvel Overpower. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but when we started working on this project, I actually went, uh, I went on eBay and I bought basically every Marvel trading card uh, that exists. Okay. So I've got, uh, distract anybody. So I've got uh, a binder here. Uh, with um, uh, every you know set of uh, every. Uh, oh my gosh! Was there any that were well, astronomically yeah. like expensive or anything? Like no, some of these stuff. No, no they, yeah, this was a lot no, there. Yeah. Oh my. Uh, they, yeah, like uh, so. I have like a bunch of, and, and these are like many different kinds of. Um, yeah, styles like the old the releases. Uh, X, the old X Men ones here. These are, some of these like uh, we turned into variants. Actually, we actually. Uh, there's Domino, I think. Uh, yeah, that's like that's one. Does Professor want a variant yet? I can't Jim remember. Lee, it's not yet, but I, I think Skywalk. I've seen it. Jim Lee, yep, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so, uh, Angel, yeah. Yeah, it's a Dark Angel for sure. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so anyway, like, uh, like yeah, the Jim Lee ones are, are incredible. So oh, there's one. Uh, yeah, I went I, I went back and spot like because, partially because uh, we wanted to. You know, design what the what the cards are going to look like, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. uh, for Marvel Snap, we wanted you know the right amount of uh, something that's unique about every card. So they feel like a collection, and some like and, and huge focus on the art, right? There's way more focus on the art in Marvel Snap than any other collectible card game, right? It's just like the art is enormous; it breaks the frame. It's just you know we spent a, a anyway. We wanted to we wanted to be really really inspired by. Um, these old school Marvel trading cards, which I, you know, I used to collect them as a kid, and uh, it was fun to look through them again, you know, uh, recently. Basically, I, I love that you guys focus on the art. Like one of the things that I love, uh, coming from like a game like Smite and Overwatch, I played a ridiculous amount of, and uh, I love that I could show off right that I played X character or X whatever a billion times. And like that was yep. what was so cool about the split system, uh, which yep. I think it took me like two months to even realize that you could split the card. Like I had them at infinite, and I was I thought that was kind of I thought that was it, you know. And uh, and then I didn't know about the gold, and then all that. I mean, it it that was uh, that was really cool, and and it's I think it's endless where you guys can kind of go yep. with that, which is exciting. Yep. Uh, once we knew we were gonna be working with Marvel, uh, I I I tried to fill every gap I had, so I. Uh, I had seen all the MCU stuff, but I hadn't seen all of the old Fantastic Four movies. I, I missed the Andrew Garfield Spider-Man films. Some rough ones in uh, there. <laughs> yeah, but I, I went and watched all that stuff, you know, to try and understand, like, what the most iconic representation of these characters are. Because, uh, you know, many people will have seen these things, even if I hadn't. And then I went back and, and, and read some of the... Um, Oh, I got the Marvel Encyclopedia, just read it cover to cover. No way. Uh, okay. Just okay. like trying to, you know, pick out characters that I'd never heard of that seemed interesting. And then I, you know, when you read the Marvel like, Encyclopedia and like a bunch of stuff pump, you know, comes to the surface. Like everyone talks about um, House of M. Yeah. Uh, like, and uh, there's like a, a bunch of other like really iconic moments that are like, oh, well, this changed everything. Yep. This is a big crossover. And so I started, I went through and I just read you know, enormous amounts of, well, they, we got, the uh, Marvel team hooked us up with uh, Marvel Unlimited subscriptions so we could just go back and read all the old back issues. And I just started reading so many comics to try and kind of bridge some of the uh, gaps in my knowledge so that I felt like I could like credibly say that I knew what the heck I was yeah, <laughs> talking yeah, about. Yeah, and, and, and like like scouring for location names and, and uh, exciting characters. And That's really cool that you guys took the liberty. Was uh, Outside of you, I'm sure others in the office did the same, huh? Oh yeah, I, 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 and actually, for some folks, they didn't need to do as much research as I did because they were just like way, 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 you know, bigger Marvel 
uh, you know, like the way to the war marble. Yeah, right. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, some people on the team are just like, listen, listen, this is how it goes. Like, I'll just, they're just like, it's like encyclop- walking encyclopedias. So, yeah. <laughs> I, you know, it's not, it's actually not that hard to find uh, Marvel fans as it turns out. There's a lot of them. <laughs> so I got to ask like where, uh, you know, we're, we're first of all, congrats on like a year since beta really oh, like thank to the you. public. Yeah. About what, two weeks ago now. Um, wow. I didn't even realize. Holy moly. That's incredible. Yeah. A year. One year. Wow. One- Wow. It's uh it it it's crazy to think I was playing this game a year ago. I can't even process That is incredible. Uh, yeah, I mean, my gosh. Uh both it feels like a long time ago, but also uh, you know, just in a blink too. So um so congrats on that. We have, you know, a few more months till the, the global the global year. Where do you see Snap in in a year, two, three years? Where where do you see it? But I know it's hard to predict and whatever, but you know, where where would you like to see it? I guess is a good question. Well, yeah. So I'd like to see it, you know, Still even up. bigger than it is today. Uh, it, I, you know, we're making uh, features I think have like a real chance to really increase the size of the audience. We're working on PC, which I think, you know, potentially is, you know, really, really exciting. Um, and uh, yeah, I mean, I think luckily uh, what I would like to see and our uh, is something we have the capability to actually do I think we, yeah <laughs> you know, it's, uh, what's really fun is uh, when uh, you like love a game and you like, play it at home you know and then you get to come into work and make the game better like every day like it's very satisfying actually to to uh, have that power to improve something that you love dude okay i've had to ask this first i, I want i guess for the viewers to know, like how often do you play snap how much do you play snap i'm sure it's varies but like just like if you were to take a guess in either day week kind of how often do you play snap for starts and then i have a follow-up question uh i play a bunch i hit infinite this last season um <laughs> And, uh, uh, I mean, I at least do all my dailies every day, you know, come hell or high water, basically. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, like, I'm getting those done. Yeah. And yeah. then, yeah, depending on like, uh, the deck I'm playing, I'm either like playing an enormous amount or, you know, just doing my dailies. It just depends on what keeps my fancy. Do you ever play like you're playing at night, whatever, something happens. And then do you ever go in the office the next day? Right. And like, I don't know the balance team, Glenn, whoever, and, and you're like, you have personal vendetta against something like we all do. Like some people hate cars more than others. I think that just happens. And, and they're just like, yep. hey, we, we love the feedback, Ben. We appreciate We respect you. But uh, you, do you think we should nerf it? Do you have like a, has that happened before? I don't think so, actually. And, you know, you should probably ask. Uh, I'm going to ask Glenn. Because they're going to remember that stuff. Yeah, yeah. You know, what's funny is the stuff that I get uh, uh, all up on them about is uh, not balance. It's. Um, templating, which is a, a okay. jargon term from from the card game industry, which basically means like uh, the wording on the cards. Okay, I think it's super important, and they do too. I mean, we all like this is just like a thing that we all care a lot about. And some stuff is like really hard to get. You know, we, we basically want to achieve a thing, and we also have all of these rules about how we use language to describe things. And like trying to achieve both those goals, I wanted to do this, but I have to not use seven lines of text, you know, like, yeah, ah, how do I do that? It's really challenging. Yeah. It's like seven um, to 10 words you said, right. Is what you guys aim for somewhere. Well, there? well uh, it's, it's, that's, that's on like tooltip text, but like, uh, uh, with card text, it's, it's more than that, okay. but it's not like infinite text, right? Like mm-hmm. we're not trying to write a novel here on the card. We want to get to the essence of the thing as quick as possible with the, with the simplest language as possible. You know, we have like a, a big document, Uh, It's like a living document that we keep updating of like all of the like kind of examples. When do we use italics? When do you use parentheses? Um, When do we line break? Like, uh, for example, we don't want to leave like a single word at the bottom. Uh, It's called an orphan. Uh, We don't like uh, like that word um, reduced or play. uh, uh, Yeah, you you guys are consistent. You're right. Yeah. Uh, we don't line break usually between like uh, on the last card dagger. Um, we could have probably put plus two on the previous line, but okay. we always keep plus two and the thing that's modifying on the same line so that it's really clear. It's plus two power, plus two cost. It makes it really easy to parse. These are things like we we like really hyper focus on, right? And uh, huh. so I, I'm often like reading the uh, card designs and I'm like, I, I think we could do a little bit better. And I'm and honestly, I, I don't have to get like very involved in the actual card text because uh 
the card, the team that works on the cards uh -huh. uh, is like really unbelievably fantastic. Uh, um, so, you know, I want to talk about a little bit of uh, a competitive snap, right? I think the cool yeah. thing about it, I know for a while you guys, you know, you need to welcome in casual players and people that don't play card games. But as the game's been out for a while, people really, you know, I, I see it in my content, you know, pool one's done with people want to know uh, the whatever more competitive stuff. Um, I think the game has such a great landscape for in-person stuff because of the backgammon poker face kind of. Yep. I mean, there's no game. I, I love, I've seen worlds. I've seen all that. But there's no game like Snap where you could literally at the tournament just stare at your opponent's face and just, you know, and I would suck, man. Dude, I have such a, I, I just smile all the time. <laughs> I'd get my, I'd get my Galactus like, you know. <laughs> I just can't do it. Right, but, this, uh, this, was, this has been true since the very first play of Snap. Uh, Hamilton is is much better at uh, like winning big when he wins and never risking more than he needs to. I, I'll beat him most of the games. Yeah, yeah. But at the end of the day, he's won way more cubes than me because he just knows <laughs> when to go all in, and I just don't. I just apparently I have a tell. I, I've played a lot of creators, yeah. and they watch me, and they're like, "Dude, I just I know when you got your winning card." I was like, "I don't know what you're <laughs> talking about," you know. But, <laughs> but it's uh, I, I tell you, it's something I want to work on. So with that, with uh, you know, uh, do you see that being a thing? I mean, I really. Uh, I think the the excitement and that's where the you know hardcore uh, that's what carries a lot of things often uh what what do you want to foresee with competitive snap whether it's in a year from now or whatever that might be because the tournaments right now are cool and I think it has even more you know of a, a trajectory going forward yeah I, I, I 100% agree the tournaments right now are awesome I can't wait to see more I do think PC build yeah. will help a lot with um with that scene and uh you know we, yeah competitive snap is very exciting it's really fun yeah i'm excited to see kind of uh, where the uh the competitive scene uh, continues to go and and uh i know the people are clamoring for draft mode i think that'd be cool down the line no i know i already know you don't even have to you don't have to blink twice if it's coming but uh you know i i think there's there's a lot of room uh to grow and and we just got the announcement of uh <laughs> What was your variant name in the, the in the video? I already forgot. It was fantastic. Been good. Been good. Oh, yeah, yeah. The, <laughs> the daily the day of daily bugle Dude. band or whatever. Dude, yeah. The accent. The accent. <laughs> the accent was huge. Um, <laughs> I rehearsed. I rehearsed that video with no accent, and then I got on set and got in the costume, and I was like. <laughs> the been good, out. the been good, been good, like legit made me chuckle. Like that, that was uh, that, that was fantastic. The, the uh, I don't I don't know what's gonna happen, but they they uh, the homies have been passing around an idea for the next video, and I gotta say I am the most excited. Yes. for this next video I've ever been, and I'm also the most terrified. Mm -hmm of uh this video like I, I i think about it i think about it all the time and i'm like horrified about how it's going to go and i'm like also psyched so it could i think it'll be the best video we've ever done uh but i'm incredibly nervous about it what could so i don't have a nervous bone in my body i love i used to check my old content was i would challenge people on the beach to mario kart i love and i would bring mario kart <laughs> like, like dude i'll have this <laughs> I will, I'll have to send you my old videos, but I love I I love on the fly. I can't be uh, I can't be nervous really, and I I take you the same way. So whatever this is, this has got to be. It's uh, got to be I, good. I am actually horrified. Uh, I, so we'll I, see I, we'll I, see what I, happens. I, I've looked at the I, 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 maybe we'll I, yeah. maybe we'll be allowed. I mean, we're probably like last second. We're like, no, forget it, forget yeah, it. And then uh, it's gonna be this boring video, and you're like, what was it? Why was he nervous about this? What's, yeah, what's yeah. That? <laughs> I'm looking forward to it. If it does, uh, I'll know. I'm sure if it uh, d truly yeah. you go through with it. What are your thoughts on pixels, man? I actually like some pixel variants. All right, I'm a fan. I gotta know. What are the thoughts on pixels? What is it? What? Uh, what what do we got uh i i think uh it's very interesting they are clearly very polarizing uh we actually get an enormous number of requests for pixel art for the cards that don't have pixel variants okay yep it's like like people are like hey when are you doing what are you doing this pixel variant for this card you know like Closet fans yeah Part of it is because, it, like, it's just an aesthetic that some people, you yep. know, really are drawn towards. And part of it is because people, like, it's one of the most common variant types. And so you could credibly put together a deck of all pixel variants. And then you, it's like, you know, 
it's kind of fun to have oh yeah the whole the whole thing kitted out in this particular way so um uh, again i do there are a couple that i'm like i really do like i i like um professor x's pixel variant a lot oh it's that's like a one good of my one favorites. yeah that's a good one uh it's just i really enjoy that one a lot his little like uh, sassy smirk gets yeah, yeah. me uh so look i some people love them they're very polarizing uh <laughs> and because there's so many of them it just feels like you always get one when you get a random variant you're like ah <laughs> Vince is married and not again uh, which I, <laughs> I think is kind of funny, but uh, you know what I say is uh, what I I used to say this to my brother during beta when I got like Baron Mordo or something. I was like, you know what? I never yep. have to get it again. That's the thing. Yep. You get there it? you go. Check it out. Yeah, yeah. Yep, Ch- it. Ch- me and uh, no me, longer uh, in the box. Me, me and <laughs> Snapster did a, a cash battle. We kind of opened like a hundred caches each, and we did it. Yep. We changed it to whoever got the more, most pixels won. A hundred dollars worth of gold. So we won in pixels, dude. It was it was a fantastic, it was a fantastic battle. I I won, good sir. And I had the main prize, the main the double point pixel is the most glorious. And you don't you just I want you to absorb this. This 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 is a thing of beauty right here. Ben, come on now, get this tattooed on you, Ben. Come on, come on. It's beautiful. I do. It is. It is uh, incredible. Yeah. This is, this uh, is, uh, Kanye Sada. <laughs> Kanye Sada, San Diego. About uh, 24 hours later. Um. So, yeah. <laughs> I, I gotta know, like, what off the top of your head, to best variant you own? What is your favorite variant that you own in the game? Best split? Uh. Oh, with the splits. Yeah. I, you know, I'll just say, look, my favorite variant, I think, is the Maria Hill cheeseburger variant. Oh, that's a um, good one. Okay. I just love it. It just makes me happy. Um, <laughs> As as uh, I don't know if I would have ever guessed that one for your for your favorite the art style or is it just like the cheeseburger the food is it the food everything about it I love the non sequitur of the cheeseburger yeah okay uh, I, I, I love I love the art style I think it is beautiful art um, no I don't have it no I, you know, just it's embarrassing for you to be honest I know uh, I'm I'm, uh, I'm shaking in my boots over here. But I got to say, so I, I waited for Zabu. I had 2,000 boosters for Zabu before I finally got the, the, the Dan hip. Is there a variant that escapes you? Like you've been waiting for? Uh, so I, I, I'm also an enormous Dan hip fan. And I, I try and buy every Dan hip variant I can. And for, for a long time, uh, I was missing one. And I was just like, where is it? Zabu was one of them too. I got really it's late. So good, yeah. Uh, I don't think I have... Um, was that an Iron Lad Dan Hip variant you were showing earlier? Yes. Oh yeah. That's that's. I, I don't have. I don't have that one, dude. I so he just drops every now and then these art drops, and he does them at midnight. And I he did Iron Lad this last week, and I stayed up. I oh, had my yeah. alarm set, and some guy, someone beat me to it. Like it was. No! I, I was so mortified. I know. And then I tried to settle for Howard because hey, again, I I'm a fan. I like Dan Hip. I actually don't think I have. Uh, oh yeah, no, the Howard one is fantastic. I don't have that one either. Oh, I don't have that one either. This is the oh. one. This is the one. And uh, someone That's bought that so too. Good. And I was like, I give up. I uh, whoever you are out That's... there, if you're watching, damn you. Uh, damn. Yeah, damn. Damn you. Um, speaking of cards, uh, gotta ask. This is something, uh, man. I, you you can reveal this. I think it's safe to say. Will Stan Lee ever be a card? I, I feel like he's oh, got to Oh, yeah. Be. No, he's not never. No, I asked, actually. And it's just not... In the rights uh, or whatever. Yeah. Well, um, it's, it's way more complicated. It's not like, you know, Marvel gets to choose. And, and if you'll notice, like, he hasn't been... You know, it used to be a thing where he was just like, a, um, you know, like a made a cameo and everything. Yep. Uh, but it, since he since he passed away, that's not that's not a thing anymore. Yeah, he's not making cameo and stuff. Mm-hmm. And so, so uh, I, I I don't know why, but I obviously I respect whatever reason they they don't want to maybe they feel weird about it, but uh, yeah. yeah I don't he's, he's, it's not, it's a no go which is which oh is man it's, it's you know what I gotta that. say there was uh, someone concepted one and it was like when you play he's like a six cost a zero and I think yep. it said summon five random cards on the board random and I was oh, like nice. that's that's so cool if you could just have. Yeah. The thing and uh, Mr. Negative, whatever, yep. just chaos yep. around. But uh, uh, good stuff there. I'll wrap up. We'll move on to some Marvel questions. Uh, the my last two Snap questions. Do you ever yep. foresee there being a physical card game of Snap? I mean, people have already made them. You've seen. I think you retweeted yep. one once. So cool. I've got. I've got one right here. I got the. Uh, you know. <laughs> <laughs> the, old physical prototype. I, I the answer is no. I, I doubt we'll ever see a physical, like, official version of, of Marvel Snap. Part of it is, 
and I'll tell you, as someone who's played a lot of physical Marvel Snap yeah. <laughs> in my day, yeah. uh, it is not easy to do um, uh, so, some of the things. Yeah. So some cards are just very, very challenging to, you know, like Mysterio as an example, uh, you know, <laughs> to like get get to work in a physical yeah. uh, version. Um uh, even just the simple action of okay, I'm gonna choose where I'm gonna play my cards while you're choosing to play where do you play card your play cards. Oh and yeah, then yeah. Re revealing them simultaneously, especially when there's like five cards you both you're playing. You're like, okay, I, I gotta like have them somewhere else. Yeah, yeah, I can't yeah. Put them on a board. I can't play cards. I have to like secretly compose a plan and write it down or something, and then show you my plan and then stage the cards. It's just not. It's not like playing digital Marvel Snap. It's just much worse. Is that what y'all used to do? Like, did you Yu-Gi-Oh it? Like, kind of like I played. You know, like, well, how did you guys do that? Yeah, no. Yeah, so, so we would like hold our cards. We put them all face down, and yeah. we're like, okay, one, two, three, and then we both try and play our cards as fast as possible, so we wouldn't be like influenced by like. Okay. And it's like a lot of honor system, right? If you see them playing their card to the left, you're like, oh, I lose. I, I should just play my card to the left. Actually, now yeah. that I've seen that, <laughs> uh, you know. Like, uh, <laughs> but I, you know, I did uh, think in my head that I was going to go right. So I got to go right yeah. and lose this game. So it's uh, okay. It's like rock, paper, scissors, right? If you see them going like this, you should change to, to rock. Yeah. <laughs> For those that don't know, he uh, Ben Brody used to compete in professional rock, paper, scissors. Which, man, that is, that's legit. I, I, how do we have footage? <laughs> how did someone take footage that is so epic, man? Yeah, we brought, you know, uh, this is in the age of uh, analog video cameras. So okay. we had a like a steady cam or whatever and uh, uh, brought it to the tournament. My buddy, uh, Matt, won that tournament. Um, and this was a, this was an epic tournament, by the way. It was under a freeway overpass in Los Angeles. And uh, it was just like an enormous number of people. They had DJs. They had like, uh, it was it was before the era of food trucks, but they had like food carts, okay. like yep. some hot dogs and stuff. And then they had like rings on the ground with like refs dressed up and ref outputs and whistles. Sweet and goodness. people showed up in um, in costumes. So there was Sergeant Scissors and one guy came as Jim Henson and there was like uh, the tourist. And and so there was like kind of like almost like superhero. Flannel uh, Man? What were you? What, what were you? Uh, well, I was, the, I was the lumberjack. Yes. Uh, so close. Yeah. Uh, and uh, uh, the the so you do all these competitions. There's an amateur tournament and there's a pro circuit. And the winner from the amateur tournament gets gets to play in the pro circuit. And then the pro circuit, the winner plays the winner from last year. Oh. And the the winner from the previous year, uh, like uh, it was the year before I, I competed. Uh, his name was Da Burgla, and he he was wearing like a ski mask with one eye hole cut out and. Um, it, when they introduce the winner from the previous year, they actually have a video uh, like intro sequence, almost like like WWF or something like, you know, the burglar. And then like it shows like a training montage yeah, and he's yeah. like, you know, practicing in the mirror and um, uh, like. <laughs> this is so epic. This is so cool. It's like 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 Eye of the Tigers playing and, uh, and then he comes out and everyone cheers. And it's just like it's just like thousands of people crammed in together watching these two people play rock paper scissors and like every time it was it went year after year after year uh and uh and so it's like this epic tournament there's always like like rules like the ref has to hold both players hands and he lifts and he goes go and then uh it's one two three shoot oh it's the shoot um, okay it's the yeah, shoot it's I was one wondering. two three shoot in in at least this professional rock paper scissors go right now ben real quick uh, two, uh come on one just one up just one uh, so it's rock paper scissors shoot correct let's just let's yes. see what you got let's see if you still have it in here okay, okay. so all right ready? yep Rock. Oh, wait, the timing's gonna be tough because of the uh, the. Uh, it, it, I'll, it, I'll just write down. I'll just write down my throw. Yeah, yeah, then, see, this go. is the problem. Yeah. This is the problem with uh, the simultaneous snap. reveals. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> fair, fair, fair enough. We'll, we'll do the honor system. All right, we'll do the honor system. All right, I've got. I've locked mine in. I've oh. locked mine in. Okay. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Damn it. Let's go. Damn it. Hey, it's a, it's a good thing you retired, Ben. Right, listen, the 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 flannel man, or no, the lumberjack, uh, got beat by the I uh, the airplane lander. You know those guys with the flashlight. I feel like I could land a plane in this, so I'll uh I'll be the yeah, <laughs> I'll, I'll be airplane lander. Uh, that'll be my. Uh, that'll be <laughs> No, that's pretty intimidating. I feel like I'll get the. Uh... Uh, it's interesting, you know. There's a lot of strategy in rock paper scissors, but uh, the best strategy is to uh, is to be as random as possible. 
for the you know, just, and then the game gets it it's, it's it's a degenerate strategy. Well, so they have all these things because you could be very influenced by your opponent. Yeah, three rocks in a row, you're like, I'm going paper, right? Like, or he couldn't possibly be going rock again. Yeah, so he's, he's gonna so I should go rock, uh, you know, or something. So uh, uh, your 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 goal is to not is be is to influence them as much as possible, or to just complete. So they have all these things like. Uh, you string like series, you make all these decisions before you go in and you try and string series of them together in ways that are going to mess up your opponent. But the other way to do it is to try and get deep in their head and and like uh, uh, try and force them to kind of double think and then you can like react to what you... I, no, I, 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 have, I have a book on... On RPS strategy, dude. That I'm was, gonna need. I'm gonna need this. I'm gonna need the copy. I have to add that to my Bin Bro 101. So you might as well just yeah shoot the not, RPS. Uh, uh, only if you only if you actually want to you know make it go pro I on might, the uh, uh, RPS I, circuit. I, I might. Uh, well, well, maybe we'll 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 face each other again at Comic Con. We'll uh, we'll see. Uh, we'll see what happens. All right. I'll bring. I want Lumberjack to show up. Okay. I want to see uh, what he's got. But uh, Marvel questions. You say you watch Marvel, so I, I gotta ask yep. you first of all. Uh, and this should, I, I'm sure, uh, so favorite uh, Marvel character you cherish the most, uh, or, you know, favorite Mar Marvel character? Can I give you two answers? Yeah, yeah. For, uh, for uh, sure. Okay, the Hulk is the best power fantasy in all of Marvel, right? The idea that when, that when you get mad, you can, you just win, <laughs> right? Like, it's just like, you can't stop me. You make me angry, you, you effed you up. Like you like me when I'm angry. Made, yeah. Shouldn't have made me mad, dog. Like, here we go. Now I'm enormous. <laughs> Uh, wow, what a what an incredible fantasy! Just my favorite Marvel character. Uh, the other one I love is Gambit. Oh. Uh, as, listen, as a card game guy, you know the guy who's just uh, uh, just like suave and plays with a deck of cards. That's like you know right in my alley. Yeah, Gambit was always my on the X Men animated series. That he was my yeah. my love. My my my. Yeah. my I love. It. I was actually so mad. They always teased a Gambit movie, and then they just like never pulled I it know. together. They never I pulled know. it together, Ben. I swear. <laughs> my, my twenty letters went unanswered. To <laughs> they lost the rights anyway. Okay, so it's up to it's up to the MCU to do it yeah. right over here. Yep. But, uh, yeah, man. I'm, well, a, I'm a big, big, uh, yeah, big fan. Like this, dude. This was the easiest buy of my life. I was like, oh, yeah. take it. Yeah. Uh, but uh, okay, so I like that. What about villain? Do you have a villain you like? Oh, you know, um, you like big guys. You like Kingpin or what? I, I really like. I mean, I really like. Uh, okay, there's uh, there's like my um, Marvel history answer, but I think the one from the movies I like the best was Killmonger. Oh, but yeah, such, such a good, yeah, such a relatable villain, and like, you know, it's interesting because he, like, in the in Black Panther, like he's right. You know, yeah. like he's on the side of correctness. It's just his, his methods are not uh, appropriate. But like, also, if if things are that bad and the the right methods aren't working, you know, like you do have to do something about it. I think, and so it's it's complicated. It, like I love, I mean, that movie is, you know, one of the best Goated, yeah. movies yeah. ever made, and. Uh, uh, and a part of it was just how complicated his character was and, and that conflict was. It was so interesting. So I, I thought, you know, he's just, he's an incredible character. Oh, man. Yeah, and when he came back in the cameo, and it's funny, even in the cameo on the second one, uh, I don't know, spoiler, whatever, guys. Spoiler alert. Uh, he was still kind of right. And, like, sometimes, you know, listen, like when Captain uh, America had, and the Winter Soldier, or I think it was Civil War, had to protect his buddy, like, yeah, it was the wrong thing to do, but he did it still. And I kind of wish we got yeah, more right, of that, yeah. you know, like where they're not all yeah. just like perfect people. Uh, yeah. The comic book authority, I think it used to be called, held them to a standard. Like the heroes could never, ever have like a bad, unless they went villain. And you can never sympathize yeah, right, with yeah, the, right. the villain is what it was in there too. Uh, but uh, good choice. I, Thanos is mine and it's the same reason because you, yeah. you'd like to think that he's making the, again, there's a whole Reddit, man. Thanos is right. I mean, that's like the... <laughs> <laughs> that, 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 that's the, that's the goal man so uh and that's what i think marvel does right you know they don't have villains that just want to like just burn everything or whatever uh i don't mind i don't mind a, a good burn everything villain <laughs> uh but i real but like god killmonger was was the best version of the complex villain uh so i i really enjoyed him okay also uh just the the that body, I mean, come on. Okay, so best MCU movie. 
Oh, there's too many good ones. I know. It's I, tough. I mean, I, probably Infinity War it's or gotta Endgame. Got to be Infinity War, yeah. Uh, uh, like, there's just so many moments in Endgame that I just like. But the end of Infinity War was just like. <laughs> Yep. I have a lot of recency bias, uh, and I love st- I love sci-fi. So I loved the Lynn Sandman movie. I thought it was fantastic. Yeah. Uh, the okay. New Guardians movie was was excellent. So, uh, oh, you know what? You know what? I loved Eternals. That's way up there for me. These I are hot like, takes, man. I like yeah, it. I I just the the uh, the best depiction of super speed ever on on the big screen. Uh, and uh, I I love the twists in that in that movie. I love the ending. I I hate it when movies end with like ha- in happy ways. Actually, I like them when they're dark. So then, Empires and Rogue One, Empire Strike Back and Rogue Rogue One was probably your your top Star Wars movie then. Yeah, maybe. Uh, Turn the I really liked uh, the um, the Last Jedi. Oh my god. Ben Broad is the king of hot takes. Uh, it's, it's, <laughs> I'm getting lumberjack. It, it's that, king of hot takes. I that film saying that is the best Star Wars film I've ever seen. I no love it. No way, right? So you're a Ryan Johnson guy. You're you're. Uh, you're Apparently. Oh man, I lo- okay. Hey, my brother feels the same way, and uh, we haven't talked since. Uh, but yeah, no, I. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm a big Star Wars guy, so I'm just holding it back. I'm just, I'm gonna keep, uh, yeah, I'm just gonna smile, and, <laughs> smile and wave. I respect it. I, I definitely, I definitely respect. So you would put that at the top. You'd put that at the top. And, For me, it, I, it was just uh, incredible. You Star Wars guy, Ben? Yeah. I have seen all, almost all of the Star Wars stuff, but uh, I wouldn't say that I. Like, you know, there's a difference between... It's not Star Wars Snap, Star Wars. right? Yeah, yeah, I don't yeah. know if I'm willing to say I'm a Star Wars guy. You know what I mean? Like, okay. I, <laughs> I I feel like that means something that I don't quite embody. <laughs> Have I seen all the Star Wars stuff? Certainly. Uh, am I a Star Wars guy? I, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> it's not Star Wars Snap, and that's all I need to know. If, if you were a Star Wars guy, it probably would have been Star Wars Snap or whatever at this point. I, really. I, I don't know. I like Star Wars. I just don't know... I don't know what that, like, what I'm signing up for yeah, when I say You're I'm signing a, up for a so lot. I, I, yeah, I, I will say uh, my my uh, grandpa won an Academy Award for his work on Star Wars. He uh, he did lens design. Uh, and oh, so yeah. the, the team behind Star Wars uh, came to my grandpa's house and said, look, we need your help. We're screwed. We can't get the effects looking right because they had the models okay, yeah, of yeah. the ships and they had like explosions and yep. stuff. Yeah, yeah, and they couldn't get them to look in like they were in the same like space. And so they needed him to design custom camera lenses that would uh, uh, get them to look like they would uh, 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 coexist. And so he designed a bunch of custom camera lenses for Star Wars. And they said, listen, we're way over budget. Uh, we, it's really hard for us to pay you. Would you like the money, or we could pay you with the percentage of the profits for Star Wars? Uh, and he said, "Tell me what. Well, tell me what it's about." And they told him what it's about. He's like, "Nah, give me the money." No, uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, Grandpa. Damn it, but Grandpa. He, he, he took uh, like my uncles to the set. They got to sit in the Millennium Falcon, oh, and uh, my uncle, my uncle Paul, was the I think the only child at the premiere of Star Wars. Holy shit! And he saw that movie, and he w- his mind was obviously blown. Yeah, and uh, he went back to school the next day, and he's like, he was like, he was like, uh, he had a secret that nobody else knew. He's like, all of your lives are about to change. None of you know it. Like, it's this the greatest thing has happened to me. Uh, when he had a son, many, 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 many years later, uh, his middle name uh, is Skywalker. So it's, it's a big part of our family. Uh, but not a Star uh, Wars guy. Up. But not a Star Wars guy. You know, <laughs> well, yeah, just you know, you know, my kid's middle name's not Skywalker. Yeah, fair so. enough. All right, fair. <laughs> <laughs> Star Wars is great. We got a lot of Star Wars fans here, so you know. I like that. Um, this is a good one. Uh, team Iron Man or Team Captain America? Captain America. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so I, I, uh, I, I like if 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 you are making a fantasy game, yep. I will be playing a paladin. I'm like uh, on the side of uh, That's what I order. Wow. Yep. Uh, <laughs> so he's basically the Marvel paladin, right? He's got yep. a shield. You know, he's about defense. Uh, he's about you know, doing you know what's right. I, I don't know. I I I love Captain America. Okay. Uh, I almost like, regardless of what they actually the argument is, I'm just like 
<laughs> you just like Captain. Called. You just like Steve yeah. Rogers. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Fair, fair, fair enough. Uh, I was a I was a, a paladin in Vanilla WoW, so I have uh, a lot yeah, of yeah, oh, me the, too. Oh, me the, too. Oh, of course. Yeah, yeah. Oh, my man. Okay, I like and the, it. And Diablo too, and like anything. I'm just uh, yeah, the, yeah, I'm drawn to it. I love it. Uh, and quickly, what other games do you enjoy playing outside of Snap and or and have played? Uh, I'm playing an enormous amount of Tears of the Kingdom right now. Yes. It's fantastic. Oh my gosh. It's, uh, yeah. I've, I've, uh, I've done three of the temples. Okay. I've unlocked the dragon's tears. I've gotten like all the fairies. I've, uh, oh, damn. I've been okay. all over the place. I'm so. two temples in. Uh, yeah. I, I, I can only get like three hours a night or something. If I'm like, not a night, but like if I'm lucky, I get like a three hour yeah, run or whatever. Yeah. Okay. It's great. It's so good. It's, uh, you know, one of the best games I've ever made. I played. Uh, uh, I did not beat the final boss of Elden Ring, but I did everything else. Oh, okay. Uh, and then uh, I played. I, I I took a break from it because I got Zelda. But I was playing God of War Ragnarok. Uh, okay. I've been um, play a lot of mobile games, but let's oh, do you? Like, okay, nice. Good, okay, good. board games. Give me uh, best board game. Like like your, your classic board game. I know it's tough, oh, dude. I have a God. closet. I'm a big board game guy, so I'm gonna judge. Me heavily. too. I'm, I'm uh, judge. I often I, I, look. Uh, one of the games that I very much enjoy is uh, Merchants of Amsterdam. Okay. Uh, by, I think it's by Reiner Kinesia, who's uh, typing it. the most prolific board game designer of all time by an enormous margin. He's designed more board games than any other board game designer by a lot. What What is it about? What do you look for in a good board game? Like, do you want, uh, do, 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 yeah, what do you look for, I guess? Okay, so I, I, like, I've gone through many board game phases in my life, right? I've played advanced civilization and like the there's multiple games called shogun but the six and a half hour one that yep. takes you know forever like i we, we used to like go on vacation with my family so that we could have uninterrupted board game time uh uh on friday nights we weren't allowed to go out with our friends it was mandatory family game night uh there, in the 90s my dad had over a thousand board games uh and there were, like this was before they sold board games at Target. Board games you had to, like a lot of them you had to mail order from Germany, and we had to get translations of the rules into English because there there was no English editions of these games. Uh, he subscribed to Games Magazine, and he would like mail order you know like homemade board games from design. It's like what a legend! Yeah, like, we, like we were, he was like he was like really into board games. Yeah, so I yeah. played like an enormous amount of board games growing up. Um, one thing I look for in, in board games is really unique mechanics. Yes. And okay. Merchants of Amsterdam has a Dutch auction mechanic. Now, Dutch auction is where the price starts enormously, ludicrously high. Okay. And lowers over time. Okay. And at some point, someone will say, I'll buy it for that price. And then they spend that to get it. So the first person to say they'll buy it gets it. And the price just keeps dropping. So the, the game comes with a timer, sort of, and it goes, okay. Click, 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 but uh, the, you, the gameplay is you have three cards, you discard one, you use one, and you set up, put one up for auction. So you kind of like decide which one you really want, which one you think will uh, everyone will fight over, or you don't want anyone to get this one. I'm discarding this one. And then there's all the, you know, the cards do things that involve the scoring, but the Ducks auction is the most fun part of the game. Everyone's like got their hand out. They're like, uh, I, uh, yeah, I, yeah, I yeah. would, uh, uh, <laughs> okay. ah, I did it. I did it. I love you. Like, ah, you knew it. I should have paid more. I should have gotten it earlier. Uh, it's a very unique mechanic, but uh, I, I, I really I still think in board games the uh, the the, commu the the community feel of it and the interaction is still unlike it, it, you can't get that experience outside of board games like it's truly I mean you can it's just different I love finding like undiscovered indie board games too that are just like incredibly uh, addicting and uh, me and my brother do a lot of bonding over that um, awesome stuff well let's uh, let's enter rapid fire mode I'm gonna just say a question you have to say the first thing that just pops to mind okay a lot all like, right good chunk of these are snap some are not and we're going to start with grilled cheese or flannels hold on never have a grilled cheese again or never wear a flannel again uh never have a grilled cheese again oh man man loves his flannels like it okay can only eat one food for the rest of your life uh uh korean barbecue <laughs> really <laughs> I don't love this scene. You could probably, I could ask you this again. You'd probably like just come up with something else, I'm sure. But, uh, Green Bar. Okay. One movie on an island. One movie? One movie the on Matrix. an island. Which one? 
the Matrix. Nice. I hope the I hope the island has power. Otherwise, it's a pretty. Yeah, you just had the DVD useless. case. Yeah, you just said it's it. You just, just, <laughs> that's it. I hope you like. Uh, I like. I hope you like Keanu Reeves, dude. Uh, you got. Uh, okay, let's do a couple snap ones first. Uh, favorite archetype. Oh, uh, I, I don't like Lane Clog probably. Lane Clog junk or something. Okay. Uh, yeah. yeah, we're gonna fire through the cost. Favorite one cost card. The hood. Nice. Favorite two cost. Oh gosh, that was like pull. one of my favorite cards, like period. So it was easy to just like top my uh, Mysterio. I, look what I already had pulled up. I hoped it too. I was ah, like, ah, I was ah, like, it has to be. That's mine too. So I like it. Okay, all right. Three cost. Green Goblin. Oh yeah, well that fits the junk roll. Uh, four cost. Probably Omega Red. Ooh, that's spicy pick. We got five cost. This is a tough one too. Professor X. Yes. All right. Yeah. Uh, no, uh, no, Dr. Octopus. Dr. Octopus. No, okay. All right. I like it. Uh, those are drastically different too, like in the in the in the best way. Uh it's a lot of clogging. A lot of clogging. Six cost. Um onslaught. Most hated location. Like you just oh. Uh uh is it the I'll give you the, one. I'll give you the, the name. I'll give you the name once I know. <laughs> Project the Pegasus. One with the, uh, Project. No, no, the one, uh, the one from Ant Man Two, the shrinking Qu uh, building. Quantum no, Realm? the building, oh, the oh, building. Oh, oh. Miniaturized lab. lab. Miniaturized lab. Miniaturized lab. Yeah. Yeah. Miniaturized lab. Okay. Um. Yeah, dude, that one's pff, before Jeff. It'd just kill me. Uh. Most. Uh. Well. Uh, favorite location. Ah. Uh, I. You know what it is. You know what it is. And, and people are gonna burn me for this. Subterranea. And it's because. Uh, I love uh, that everybody hates this location. I love it because I actually, I actually do think it's a great location for the game. I think uh, it uh, creates the best bluffing moments. There's a lot of moments in Marvel Snap where like a bluff actually goes somewhere, yeah. but there's actually a bunch of moments where it, like I don't really know what to bluff. Right. Like, do, is I really gonna know what I have? But when your hand is full of rocks, it is a hundred percent a full-on bluff when you snap. It creates the most bluffable moments in the game. And I think that's great. I think that's great for the game. I, it's, uh, I, I, oh man, I put a rock under your name on the on the thing because I I, rem I put what uh, I, I had a tweet once. It was like, what's your biggest unpopular opinion in Snap? And you came in there and you put rock or subterranean is great. And people were just like on fire. It was uh, it yeah. was. Uh, yeah. I, uh, I, I get it. I get why people don't like it. Yeah. I understand they're not wrong. Yeah, it, yeah. Like it, it turns a game where you get to make a bu bunch of fun, interesting decisions, and like instead gives you a bunch of rocks. Uh, but it moves those decisions into that snap button. Yeah, and yeah. Uh, and like that is such a hard decision. A lot of people aren't thinking as much about when to snap, when not to snap, how to use it to their best advantage. And I, I, I actually really, I really enjoy it. Ooh, most, uh, I'm sure you don't hate any card or whatever, but most hated card played against you, just like, oh. Uh, whoo, Shang-Chi. I had no, it I already had it up there. Ah, it had to be. Know. He's the perfect threat. He's the perfect threat yep. in the game. I, yep, I, absolutely. Okay, good. I, I, I'm trying to guess on some of these. Uh, mm, Cerebro or Mr. Negative deck? Mr. Mr. Negative. Nice. Okay, I like it. Uh, got Three too hard for me to play. It's just I'm like. You have a computer science degree, don't you? Though no. Uh, I went to school for computer science. I did not graduate. Okay. <laughs> yeah. so, I got enough. like one quarter of a computer science degree. If you graduated, you would have been a Cerebro player. But I guess uh, those are ah, yeah, friends that was it. Yeah. 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 Uh, exactly. I I asked this. This uh, we uh, we have our Marvel Snap podcast, uh, and, and we derail sometimes. And. Uh, Dude, we were talking about all these subjects, and then we had a 30-minute conversation about, is a hot dog a sandwich? Ah, uh, yes, it is. Uh, it's also a salad. Oh, my God. You're on the camp. It's a, wait, hold on. <laughs> hold, hold on now. I, I don't trust you anymore. Uh, sir, uh, elaborate, sir. Well, define, define salad. Mm. Vegetables in a bowl uh, with leaves being the main uh, substance. So macaroni salad is not salad? It is a pasta dish. But it's macaroni salad. Fair. By definition, by... De okay, so hot dog is a salad? You cannot define salad in a way that does not include hot dog, is what I'm saying. Where's the green? You, could you eat green hot dogs, no man? 
You you could have oh. a salad without any green in it. Uh, uh, potato salad and to- uh, macaroni salad do not have any green. Fruit salad doesn't have any green either or vegetables. That is also a type of salad. My, my, the comments are, the, forget any Marvel Snap comment now. It's just going to be debates and anger here. Dude, th- this is... I looked up the definition. It's a dish usually served cold, usually with some kind of vegetable, which is which is basically the only consistent thing is, is a dish. I just feel like if I was going on a hot, steamy date and I was like, let's go on a picnic, uh, Ben, and I've got some, uh, I brought some sandwiches, and we get there, I'm like, check out these hot dogs. You'd just be like, the, you'd be like, these are great sandwiches. Would you say it, Ben? Would you say it? If I, or salads. What do you... Look, look. Uh, you're right. There, uh, you wouldn't, you wouldn't say those things. But t- technically, technically, I think it, it reaches the definition. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, there's some some part of our mind is like, no, no, no. That's not. Uh, there's no way. There's no way to do it to like you know define these things. So I, I like challenges. I'm a guy with steaks. Like steaks is my favorite. Okay. All my right. favorite All thing right. in, in general. So either we come up with a challenge together, and we can think of this later. I'll edit it and whatever. Uh, that 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 we have to do uh, involving Marvel Snap. Obviously, I think that's where it could be. Uh, and or if if I win, I only want one simple thing in return. But I am a man that I told you I love Agent Coulson, and I and I I will die on the hill. I want this beautiful Lego man, this beautiful piece of art, as an avatar. That's my only. That is my. You can discuss with the team. You can discuss with the team, Ben. But we will come up with a challenge. Or if you could come up, you could tell me to use whatever deck to get to 200 rank. I don't care. I, 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 I'm, I'm a man of stakes, Ben. I'm a, I'm a man of stakes. I gotta, there needs to be stakes in, in, in both directions. In your, in your you know favor, I mean? absolutely. And so like, the, the door's open. I, I, uh, I, I'll right. let you okay. stew on this. Or if you have it right now, I'm like, I'm ready for it. If you, uh, uh, no, let me, uh, let me, I'll take, I'll take this, uh, I'll take this challenge back to the team and see what okay. we can come up and, with. Uh, a challenge for uh, a challenge for cozy in general, uh, dude. Uh, this is what I live for. Stakes. Life is so much more fun with stakes. All right, Ben. Uh, I uh, agree. Yeah. Agreed. Well, again, uh, thank you for 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 coming on and, and getting some uh, interview action. And any last uh, any last comments uh, from you, Ben? No, it's been awesome. Thank you so much for having me. It's been it's been a pl- a, a pleasure. I was really I'm really glad that uh, we we made this happen. Yeah, dude. I uh, cut from the same cloth. Guys, I hope you enjoyed that interview, man. That was awesome to, to get to know uh, uh, Ben Brode a little bit more. And uh, man, uh, just again, cut from the same cloth. Uh, anyway, if you guys want me to interview somebody else, let me know down in the comments below. If I have another interview with Ben, let me know down below what questions I should ask him. And as always, guys, until the next one, happy snapping.